Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of Get Good at Open Rollercoast Tycoon 2. Now, you probably already know that if you put two coasters next to one another, uh, you can easily uh, synchronize them. So I will just demonstrate that with uh, two um, shuttle loops. Okay, if we now hit synchronize with adjacent stations, and I will quickly pause the game and put them both in test mode. And then if you let the game run again, um, they will be synchronized. Now with Open Rollercoast Tycoon 2, you can actually have them be synchronized uh, a few more tiles further away. Not really exactly sure what the number is, but uh, I'll just quickly demonstrate it. Okay, this ride, as you can now see, is uh, also waiting for the others to... Uh, to start and now it's also synchronized i uh, like i said i don't really know what the tile limit is for this but uh, it's nice that opera locos tycoon to edit this now um you can actually uh, also synchronize stations that are further away from one another so i will just uh, remove two of these uh, shuttle loops So let's say uh, we want to synchronize this shuttle loop with one that's uh, over here, next to the park entrance. Well, that is actually uh, quite easy in uh, Opera Rollercoast Tycoon 2. So as you can see right now, um, it will just keep on going even if we uh, press the synchronize button, because these rides don't really see one another. So the easiest way to do this is just take the front of this station and we... Um, I copy this uh, piece. I am using hotkeys now, but normally you would uh, press this button here. And we paste that track piece here. And from this right, we copy and paste the, the front part of the station to here as well. And as you can see, these rides are now synchronized. As if they were right next to one another. Now I'm just making this track a piece invisible with a corrupt element and I will do the same for this piece. By the way, if you are in Tile Inspector and you hold control, you can simply click this track piece and it will be selected immediately. And then we put the corrupt element here and, it, and it's invisible. So anyway, this is a great way to synchronize your rides even when they are not next to one another. So uh, yeah, this will allow you to uh, be a little bit, bit, little bit more creative uh, with your station configuration if you're making dual link coasters. Okay, I hope this uh, tutorial is useful for you and I'll see you again in the next video. See you later.